Yo, what is up guys? It's Slade here. Uh, welcome to my V-Matrix guide for high Uh I think we're getting our third V skills soon in the Black Mage update. Uh, but I'll update the guide when it comes out. We'll see if that skill is worth using or not. Uh, I've got pretty high hopes <laughs> that it will be good, but we'll see. But anyways, today we'll be talking about which skills or nodes are essential for the class in 5th job, and which ones are situational or optional. And uh, we'll also be talking about uh, the order that you should level them in, or slot them in as you unlock more slots. Uh, so yeah, that'll be it. Let's get started. Oh, a uh, quick note though, this is not a general node stone guide, so <laughs> I'm not going to talk about what a V-Matrix is, or what node stones are, or where to get nodes. <laughs> there are other guides that explain that. Yeah. Alright guys, uh, here are your essential nodes. Uh, so first of all, we have the two uh, fifth job skills for Hayato. Ei Jitsu Phantom Blade and Bato Jitsu Zanko. Uh, yeah, this thing is like, <laughs> when you max it, it gives you like over 100% final damage, so it's amazing. It like doubles your range. It's super important, but it also um, adds this uh, sword energy management dynamic to your class now, so we also need this skill to help you regenerate sword energy. Uh, it gives you 700 back. This thing costs us 200 per cast. Uh, but this skill is also a really good bossing skill because it does like 132 lines instantly. And it's only 90 seconds cooldown, so it's it's a pretty good burst skill for bossing. It's, even at level one, it's pretty darn good. So yeah, you need these two for sure. You're gonna want um, what Nora, more final damage and PDR. That's uh, on a pretty good uptime as well. Then we got the decent sharp eyes and the speed infusion. Uh, then we have oh wait a minute. I forgot about the primary boost nodes. So you want uh, the primary pair, which mainly you want to boost the two Rai skills, Rai Blade Flash and Rai Sun Rinse, and those two are crucial. Then the third one, it can either be Shinsoku or Falcon's Honor. I personally chose Shinsoku because I didn't need the extra damage for Falcon's Honor, but uh, I mean, we'll talk more about the two later. But generally, Shinsoku for bossing and Falcon's Honor for mobbing. Okay, so we have Sengoku Force. Super good skill right here. Um, it's super, it's really good for mobbing because it like teleports everywhere and like hits everything around you until it's dead. Then it keeps going. It's kind of looks like Omni Slash if anyone has played Dota here. <laughs> I don't know. I think it looks super cool. Uh, it might be buggy on some bosses, but in general, it is a really good DPS boost because it also provides you um, some buffs as well. Um, as you can see here, there are four possible buffs, 20% PDR, 15% crit damage, or 30 attack, or 15% uh, damage taken reduction. Uh, but yeah, I'll talk more about some of the stuff here later, I'm just laying out the essentials right now. Um, so the new Commander Will skill, I would say, is actually an essential. It's really good for your overall DPS. It's pretty decent. I wouldn't say super good, but decent. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how good it is when you max it. Mine's only level 5. But, I mean, 
I usually do like up to 7 trillion damage on hard lucid phase 3 and then I tried using the skill and it did like almost 1.5 trill at, at level 10 with the matrix points. So 1.5 trill out of 7 trill it's, a, it's quite a good amount. I think the skill is pretty good but of course that's only like a 40 second measurement. But it's, I think, uh, so it has 50 seconds duration and 200 seconds of downtime. I think in general it still is a pretty decent boost in your uh, damage over time. And it's super good for mobbing as well. So there's that. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if anything else is essential. Because I mean, we have we have combat orders and advanced blessing. But um, yeah, I'm I'm not gonna put these on essentials in this section. Like I'm not gonna put them here. But we'll we'll talk more about you know the remaining slots in the next section. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to the situational notes section. Uh, I like to call this the clown fiesta because uh, you have a limited amount of space and you have to decide on things. You have to decide which notes you want to use. Um, I mean, everything's situational, right? Like it depends on if you want to train or if you want to boss and then it depends on Specifically, the boss that you're fighting as well, uh, you might need certain tools more than others. Uh, so, I don't know. I mean, first of all, we gotta talk about A, B, and C, O, Advanced Blessing Combat Orders. Um, I didn't put them as essentials because, I don't know, I just wanted to give you more freedom of choice. Like if, if you want the extra little bit of boost and damage, and go ahead and use them because besides damage they don't really have any other benefits uh, and also the secondary boost nodes uh, Sudden Strike, Hirokiri Strike and Falcon's Honor are not used very often for damage like Sudden Strike is a debuff and also a super stance skill uh, Hidokiri Strike can only be used once every minute, at most. And then Falcon's Honor, and you, uh, you... I mean, if you need the damage for mobbing, then go for it. If you don't, then I find that Falcon's Honor is not used very often for me, in terms of uh, bossing. Like, I, I use it mostly to keep my sword energy levels up, but I don't use it for damage in the boss. It's not for It's not part of my main DPS. So I don't find that as useful to use these nodes here. Because these skills are not really used for DPS. Uh, of course we got the Whale of Aerodile, that's an option if you need to ignore status effects on some bosses. We have... Um, I don't know why I have Hyperbody, Mystic Door, and Blink. These are pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> Pretty useless. Uh, so we got Erda Shower, another mobbing skill. That's uh, that's an option if you want to use that for extra mobbing. Uh, rope lift, extra mobility option right here. Uh, I mean, Hayato is already pretty mobile, but it doesn't hurt to have another tool. You know, like for Spirit Savior, for example, that would be really good for that. Uh, we have HS for drop rate or EXP bonuses, you know when to use that, right? Uh, <laughs> we have impenetrable skin, which is a super stance skill. It means you can't be moved or knocked around by any boss attacks or any attacks at all. This is a really good skill for certain bosses like um, Magnus and uh, Lotus. Lotus is one of the main ones. <laughs> Cause he, he's really annoying with his uh, attacks that push you around 
especially when you're trying to survive lasers. <laughs> so yeah, if you need super stance, use this. Uh, if you need a bind, use Aerodonova. And yeah, that pretty much sums up the optional section. I mean, you've got like two, four, six, eight, ten. So you've got ten optional nodes, and you only have, I mean, I only have five slots here, so I can only choose half of them. Um, but we'll, we'll talk more about which ones to choose, I guess, for which situations, like my personal setup. I'll show you a bit later. Alright guys, uh, let's talk about um, leveling your nodes. So, uh, let's start at level 200. You know, you just got to 5th job. You got like 4 slots, maybe 6 if you pay for them. Uh, so first of all, what you want to do is you need a level 1 of Zonko. And uh, let's see, what else? you need the two decent skills at level 1 and Phantom Blade. Uh, that should be all level 1. Uh, and then first thing you really want to max is Phantom Blade. For sure, you need to max this ASAP. The first thing you need to level is this. Uh, and then after that, you would want to start getting your two or your pair of boost nodes. Um, you just need the two rise skills, uh, Sonrensen and Blade Flash. You need those two, and uh, try to level these two as fast as you can. So first you max this, then you max these two. And then, uh, so decent skills will leave those at level one. You don't, you don't need to level these. Uh, okay. Next, you will want weapon aura at level one, and then start maxing it as well. Get this to max level. Uh, then you should get Sengoku Force and max that. I would say Commander Whale skill, but like most people won't have access to this. You know, unless you're in a normal server, you can probably buy some of the nodes in the auction house. But they're also pretty expensive at the moment. So I, I guess, I don't know, you can decide when you want to get this skill. Or when you can. Um, let's see. Yeah, after that, you... If you plan on uh, training and leveling, and, and if you need the extra damage for Falcon's Honor, then uh, you either hope to get Falcon's Honor here, or you need a secondary pair to boost Falcon's Honor, mainly. Um, if you're like exclusively just wanting to level, then yeah, you wouldn't want to boost Rai, Sonrens, and, and Falcon's Honor. And then maybe leave Rai Blade Flash out, unless you plan on bossing because it is a very important skill for bossing. So yeah, there's that. And next you will want to max uh, Zonko. It's just extra damage. Nothing more to be said about that. Um, yeah, and then we have the optional stuff, which... I mean... I would personally get level 1 of these two combat orders and advanced blessing. And then, uh, you know, I might use rope lift sometimes. I don't know, it's up to you. But I think you next you should, I mean, you pretty much covered the essentials already, but I think I would level impenetrable skin next. Because uh, I believe it lasts longer when you level it. I don't know. <laughs> Someone correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, it's good if it lasts longer. Uh, and then... You probably... I mean, somewhere in between you probably want to get Holy Symbol and start leveling that because you get extra EXP from it. 
unless you're using like a like someone else as a, a HS mule or something. But this would be pretty nice. And then the bind. I'm I'm pretty sure you only need level one of like rope lift and the bind. You don't really need to level these, so those optional options are just fine at level one. And the shower, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really use it. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it. Hey guys, uh, yeah, let's talk about matrix points and my personal setups. Uh, so yeah, I have I have my uh, regular setup here. It's just my everyday nodes, I guess, like when I'm doing dailies or just easy bosses. You know, maybe some of the easier weekly bosses. This is the kind of setup I run with. Um, yeah, I mean, I still do Spirit Savior, so I, I use Rope Lift or Choo Choo Island is also pretty good for. Or if you just want to move around a map in Morass, <laughs> some of the really tall maps helps you get some vertical mobility. Um, extra strength from this. Oh, Rope Lift as well, extra stats, whatever. Drop rate, that's pretty useful. Um, yeah, just the essentials here. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, like sometimes if I'm bossing, I might, you know, switch out HS for a bind or something. I mean, you don't really need HS for fighting bosses. Like, if you really need the bind, then get that, you know. Uh, yeah, or if you feel like you want to use the secondary nodes, you can definitely slot those in and maybe take out this, or rope lift, or maybe one of the decent skills, you know, A, B, or C, O. Um, but yeah, so that's my regular setup. And then, um, matrix points. Uh, first thing you want to do, of course, is add points into Phantom Blade. Max that out. And of course, your primary pair of boost nodes. Alright. And then you want Weapon Aura. and Goku Force. So, you know, we're pretty much just boosting all the essentials. I personally would boost this as well because it's really good. And then Zanko. Yeah, I don't know if you guys... I mean, whenever you get this skill, you'll see how decent it is. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, so afterwards I just, I just go down the, the list. But I'm I'm leaving all my decent skills at the bottom here because you don't you don't need extra levels on these. You, it doesn't give you like more stats or whatever. It just just makes the skill uh, makes it last slightly longer. But uh, you have 100% uptime on them anyway. So it doesn't matter. So the rest of the points is up to you. But I, I'm just slotting them all in to these slots here because. It's like my optional stuff. And since I'm not boosting the decent skills, this is all I got left. And uh, yeah. There you have it. That's my uh, all my points used up at level 250. Alright guys, uh, I hope this guide at least helped you a little bit. Um, if you don't like how I did my nodes, you can definitely just do it your own way, you know, however you want, whatever fits your playstyle. Um, but yeah, if you guys disagree with something or you have further questions, just, uh, I don't know, add me on Discord or leave a comment or something. 
and I'll get back to you. <laughs> but yeah. Um, that being said, uh, stay tuned for more content. I'll try to make more soon. And yeah, if you didn't subscribe or follow me yet, you're a noob. <laughs> you better subscribe right now. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notifications bell. Alright, don't be a noob. Alright, uh, I hope this guide made you less of a noob. Because now you know which nodes to use. Yeah, have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.